Hi, I'm Reverend Tammy Scott, pastor of Sugar Grove United Methodist Church. I'm thankful to Deacon Sharon Rice and the Discipleship Task Force for the invitation to speak with all of you. They asked me to share with you on the topic of know your story, own your story. In seminary, we spent a lot of time honing our skills about telling our call stories. A call story is your experience and understanding of God calling you to ministry. For some of us, that is ordained ministry, but for most of us, it's not. Maybe you're questioning what God is calling you to do or wondering why on earth God has called you to work with young people. Maybe that gives you a little bit of fear or anxiety. And so I wanted to share with you um, my three tips today for know your story own your story in hopes of hoping, hoping that I'll be able to help prepare you and give you some confidence in speaking with young people. The first thing is that we have to be honest and vulnerable, and I know that sounds scary. One of the best ways I think we can do this is to spend some intentional time thinking about the ways that God has been present and active in our lives. Our experience with God tend to be personal and private. So we have to work at becoming more comfortable at sharing those moments with others. When we're honest and vulnerable, not only with ourselves and with God, then we can become more comfortable sharing our story, our experience of God in our lives and in our world with others. And we can become more authentic in telling our story. My second tip is say it out loud. Talk about how God is active. Talk about how God has been working in your life with someone you trust. A spouse, a friend, a family member, even your pastor. The more you tell your story, the more you will own your story. And tip number three is repeat, repeat, repeat. This helps you to begin to gain some confidence in telling your story and to help you be ready to share it with young people. As you share your own story about how God is active and working in your life, you will not only grow in your own faith, but I guarantee you will also encourage the young people that you're being honest and vulnerable with to begin to identify and even tell their own story so that they can own their story. And in doing so, they can grow in their faith. So now you might be wondering, but how do I start? So I thought I'd help you out a little bit by telling you my own call story as a way to help you get started. The first time I even considered ordination or ordained ministry as an option, I was a confirmation student, eighth grade, when my pastor told me she thought that I would uh, make a good pastor, that I had the right gifts and graces for that. But I wasn't ready to hear that. I had my dream set on being a Cubs radio broadcaster. That's right, the Chicago Cubs baseball team. I was going to be their radio broadcaster. I even majored in radio broadcasting as a freshman in college. Shortly after college, I started seminary. And while I was in seminary, I felt called to work with young people to help give them the foundation for their faith that I received at my home church. Following seminary, I was ordained as a deacon and I served several churches in Northern Illinois for most of 12 years with a brief stint as a high school math teacher in Washington, D.C. But guess what? Our call stories can change over time. They can evolve. A few years ago, I heard God calling me to something new, something different. It was a bit scary at first, but I had great people around me. My clergy colleagues, my family, church members, and of course God supporting me as I tried something new. I'm now serving as a solo pastor, working with people of all ages to help encourage them on their faith journeys. 
So let me encourage you to know your story, to own your story, to tell your story, and to encourage others to know and own their story. Oh, and one more thing, your story is yours alone. It's no one else's. It's unique, just like you. So know your story and own your story. I can't wait to hear all about your story.